Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, YouTubers. Math of Fanatic here again. Today we're bisecting a segment. Bisecting a segment is not really uh, too involved, and so uh, we can go ahead and dive right in. I've got here a segment YZ all ready to go. And so once you have your segment ready to go and your compass ready to go, go ahead and take the needle of the compass and you need to put it on one of the endpoints um, of the segment. All right, so I've got my needle and I'm putting it on Y. You might have put yours on Z or whatever you named yours. And the next thing you need to do is you need to open your compass uh, past the halfway point of the segment. Now, what we're finding is that halfway point, right? So it's not actually there. You have to use some estimation skills. So I'm looking and I'm thinking that the middle is going to be somewhere right in here where I'm, uh, where my mouse cursor is. It's got to be somewhere in there. So I want to make sure that I open it past that half point. Right here could be right at the halfway point, and so I don't want to be right at it. I definitely need to be beyond it. And so here it's obvious to me at least that I'm beyond it. If it's not obvious to you, then you need to continue, continue opening your compass a little bit further. So now I've got that made. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strike an arc. I need it above and I need it below the line. Um, and eventually I'm going to have another one on the other side and where the intersect is going to be the middle. So when I make my arc, I need to make sure that it's not an arc that looks like this because this arc, of course, is above and it's below the line. Uh, but that's not going to help me in the long run because I'm going to need it to go past the halfway point. So I'm just going to continue drawing it and almost draw a half circle maybe a third of a circle or so, uh, but I'm going to make a decent sized arc. Now for those advanced users, you might only need to make an arc um, up here and then another arc down below, but in the beginning I think it's useful to just create one giant arc just to keep it simple. Alright, so now uh, what you do is keep the exact same setting. It's important to keep the exact same setting. You just need to take your compass and you're going to need to flip it around and then you're going to need to take the needle of the compass and put it on the opposite endpoint that you started with. So in this case, my opposite endpoint is Z. And then I'm going to create an arc that intersects uh, the first arc that I created. Now, once you have the first arc, it's not necessary to create another giant arc like that because the important thing that we're finding are the two intersections that we're going to find. So really, the important part is right up here, and the other one is right down here where it's going to cross. And so I'm just going to create um, those two. However, again, for simplicity, if you want to create another giant arc, please feel free to create another giant arc. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but uh, with less writing on the page, you'll see later on uh, with more complex constructions that it kind of takes up lots of space. So I went ahead and I created those, and there are these two intersections that are created. Now I'm done with my compass. The next thing that you need to do then is to take a straight edge and you're going to need to um, find those two intersections, right? Uh, we're interested in those two intersections where the two arcs meet, so right about there, right? And the other one that's right about here. You're just going to take your straight edge and you're going to line up those two intersections and we're just going to go ahead and draw a segment through those two intersections there. Alright, so what I've created here is a segment that is bisecting this other segment. And so, um, just to see how good a job I did, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab out a ruler. I'm going to use the centimeter side and just measure just to see how close I am. So it looks like I'm right at about four centimeters on that side. And so hopefully from the center to the other side, I'm also at right about four centimeters. And it looks like I just about am. So that's how you bisect a segment. If you need to ask any questions, ask them down below. And I will see you all next time.